this week's gonna be kind of like a deload week for squatting. I hit three days of Metcons in a row. I'm pretty tired. We went pretty heavy, so my CNS is tired, but I still wanna keep a little bit of weight on the bar. Um, and the really good way to do that is gonna be using the bands. So that way I don't have all the pressure on my joints in the bottom of the squat, but I still get the feeling of having some load on my back. So for deload today, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go a little bit lighter than 50%. So I think I'm somewhere around 35 to 40%. And then I'm gonna use a double band and I'm gonna go 10 sets of three instead of eight sets of two. One set every 30 seconds, just like the normal, just a lot lighter, focusing on really driving hard out of the bottom, speed, and then just feeling like I've got a little bit of weight on my back. I'm super lucky because my husband is super handy. And so he installed, so I don't have to carry over the 100 pound dumbbells anymore. He installed these really cool things in the ground. So he screwed them in and then it has this little hook that flips down. So it's flush with the floor and it doesn't affect class. But now I don't have to carry the dumbbells over. So all I did was flip the hook up. I doubled my band today. So I've got a little extra band tension. So I doubled it and then I took it essentially just around the top. From here, I set my box up. So I always like to keep my box the same height. So when I sit down with wide stance, I'm usually right at parallel. So I'm not below. This allows me to keep my knees out, focus on keeping my glutes firing. So what that'll look like, I like to set my feet before. So I have my wide stance. I take my J cups one lower than if I was regular back squatting, just because of the band tension pulling down. So I'm gonna set my feet, weight to my heels. I'm spreading the floor, driving my knees out. Once I'm set here, I don't even have to move my feet. I'm just gonna focus on pushing my hips back and down while my knees come out and exploding hard by squeezing my quads and squeezing my butt. So one more time. And then all I have to do is fall back into the rack. So that takes away trying to move my feet forwards and move my feet backwards with this band tension which I really think is key. So that way we make sure we're stabilized the entire time and we don't compromise the position of our knees by trying to move with the load on the bar. was nice um, I it did get hard but just focusing on hearing the jingle at the top so really focusing on exploding hard um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do a little bit more lower body accessory so I'm gonna strip my plate but I am gonna leave the bands in the bar set up and my box we're gonna go into some single leg banded leg lifts for the outside of the glute superset with some seated barbell banded good mornings so let's go over the barbell banded good morning so once you take your plates off, we're gonna leave this exact setup. Nothing changes. So from here, I'm gonna unwrap the bar and then I'm gonna lower myself down. Once I'm sitting on the box, I can reset my feet, okay? So the band should be straight up and down. From here, I'm gonna take my feet. I don't wanna be back close to the box. I wanna bring my feet slightly forward and out. And I'm gonna focus on keeping my head in a neutral position. So I don't wanna look forward, but I wanna keep my spine neutral. And then I'm gonna push hard through my heels and drive my knees out to get out of the bottom position. So what it looks like, kind of take your breath. Drive hard through your heels to get out. And from here, I bring my feet slightly in, take my breath, and stand the bar back up. What I'm thinking about on the good morning, keeping my head in line, so I'm not cranking my chin up, I'm not tucking my chin down, I'm staying engaged with my midline. When I fold my chest forward to get out of that, I don't wanna think just lift with my back, but I wanna fire my posterior chain. So I push my heels through the ground, driving my knees out to help me lift my chest back out of the hole. And you should feel that all in your hamstring into the attachment of your glute. It should not be something that you're feeling in your lower back because we're stabilizing with our midline to support our lower back. I was doing four sets of 30 reps, single leg banded each leg, right into 15 banded barbell seated good mornings for four total sets. No rest, just keep going back and forth. 
as quickly as you can with good food. leg glute activator strengthen our posterior chain it's going to be a banded leg raise so i know a lot of us have done leg raises without a band before but adding a band takes it to a whole other level so you could use your jacobs but i like to use my pins that i use for the banded deadlift so i usually go two holes up jacob would be the same thing then i'm going to hook my band right around the pins from here i'm going to lay on my side make sure that one leg is under the band so we're not doubling okay so i'm just laying through from here roll onto my side the key point make sure your hip is not open it's not closed we're trying to like stack out and our toes should be pointed forward at all times so there's no rotation in my femur okay so i'm not rolling in i'm not rolling out i'm staying completely neutral with my femur focusing on not hiking my hip but pushing my hip down long so there's space between my hips and i'm not lighting up my back but i'm using my glute from here Punch forward, gonna lift quickly. 30 reps per leg with that toe staying forward. I like to put my hand right on my hip so I know this is staying relaxed and I'm using my glute. So 30 reps. After 30, they should be quick. I'll flip over and repeat on the opposite side. I think the key things pushing your heel away from you so you create space and we're not lighting up our back. Toe always staying pointed forward, so we're not rotating our femur, and then quick movement. So 30 reps as fast as you can to work on the fast twitch muscle. So we are getting ready to release our accessory strength program, which is all of these movements, which I'm super excited about because I think it's definitely taking my training to a whole nother level. We're really releasing it on Ibex training, but just a quick little note. So when it's banded barbell movements, such as the banded press, the banded back squat, the banded bench press, it's always gonna be every 30 seconds and we're focusing on explosive speed and explosive power. So when I talk about when I stand, hearing the barbell jingle, that's the goal. We're accumulating volume uh, with band tension so we don't have to load all of those weights on the bar and we don't have to put the pressure on our joints. So speed, power, explosiveness with accumulating volume. Every 30 seconds, usually eight to 10 sets, give or take two or three reps. The second type of movement that we're gonna be doing in the strength accessory program, which you've noticed I've posted about, is a finisher. So the finishers usually target our stabilizer muscles, and we wanna do a burnout. So we wanna strengthen those stabilizers so when we're in the Metcons, that they're strong, they're able to support us even as we're fatiguing. So this, the burnouts are usually quick movements, as fast as you possibly can for higher sets. So 25, 30, 35 reps, trying to burn out those stabilizer muscles. A good way to think about this is gonna be your body essentially like a bridge, right? So we've got our biceps, our quads, our hamstrings, our glutes, all of our big muscle groups, but there's the little pillars that support those muscle groups. Imagine in the bridge, if the pillars go down, the bridge collapses, everything falls into the water, and it's not a good sight to see. So kind of the same idea with our body is we wanna strengthen our stabilizers with these burnout exercises and these finishers to make sure that we can keep the bridge standing and functioning, or our biceps, our quads, our hamstrings to keep the pressure off of our back to keep us healthy and continuing to improve and progress in our training. So if you're interested in taking your training to a whole new level, just adding these beaded movements, trying something new, make sure you check out Ivex Trained, so T-R-A-I-N-E-D.com, because we're going to be releasing our strength accessory program over the next couple weeks, and I swear you guys are going to love it. So make sure you like, subscribe, check out the link in the bio, and stick with us as we have exciting things to come in 2020.